Welcome back everybody to Mike's Wheelhouse. Today I'm with Gary again working on his 2016 Ford F-150. We're going to be doing the rear diff cover. Alright, so we're going to be changing out the old leaking diff cover for this new heavy duty spicer diff cover. What's important to know is that it actually has a drain plug on it where the original does not so you can actually change your fluid out at regular intervals. The lower plug here, the fill plug, is for non-lifted vehicles and the top one is for lifted vehicles which his truck is lifted with a six inch lift on it. As you can see the old diff cover is leaking pretty bad um, around here and we are going to go ahead and remove all the bolts except except for that one right there and that way it holds the cover in place while we get everything disconnected all right so the first thing we need to do is pop uh, the plastics that hold these cables off of the studs so just simply and carefully pull and move that out of your way all right so we've already loosened this one um we'll start here loosen that guy up a little bit go to the next all right so with the deep 13 we can now get on the stud so as he takes out one bolt per spot we are going to line these up on a little drawing we made that way we can put the same bolt back in the same hole that it came out of all right so we have all the bolts out except for that top one there um, as you can see, we've got the drain pan under it uh, ready to go. We chose to use one with an open top rather than like an oil pan that uh, from um, wherever else where you get them where they've got a top on them and it can splash. So this arrow is nasty. It's probably going to be black and disgusting. It's pretty thick. It's like snot. So we don't want to get on the driveway. So that's why the cardboard surrounds here. So um, Mike has brought me uh, these pry tools to get up in here and break the seal loose. So there we go. and jackpot look at that old nasty and that smell if you guys mm, it's beautiful yes if you've never smelled differential fluid in your life that's something new for you. all right so you can tell it was pretty dark pretty black uh, cooked um, most of it seems to have fallen out now um, the good news is that, that screw held for us, right? So, kept the pan in place. We're gonna let that drip for a few minutes. Let most of it get out of there, and then we'll go ahead and take the pan off, clean the inside of the pan out, take the old gasket off the outside, and we'll be back in a few minutes. So we're using a uh, brass brush on a drill to uh, clean up the leftover gasket material from the old stuff. Um, Everything's right. clean. I'm picky. Um, so I really want to get all the uh, leftover material that's off. So you, as Mike was alluding to, you can see some of the uh, excess gasket laying over. There's going to be a little bit of uh, drip from the... Uh, um, differential fluid coming out as, as well as the uh, brake cleaner we used to clean it up so 
Here we go. Blocker premium differential gasket because it's actually better than the gasket that comes with the new diff cover. This is you can actually reuse it, um, it seals better. This is the original gasket. We're not going to use that, we're using this one. It's Apparently one of the best on the market. This is the part number for it. And these are all the features. You don't have to use RTV or anything else. It's literally just put it back together and you're good to go. Not to mention, we'll never have to take this off again because Spicer put in a drain plug for us. Alright, so right now it looks like it's lined up, it looks like it should fit, however, this hole here, this hole here will not line up, that one lines up, that one does, this one does not. So, you got to pay attention to how you orient your gasket, otherwise the holes will not line up, it'll be a big headache, and life will be unfair. So, with this orientation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Sharpie. I'm going to make a mark on here to where it doesn't interfere with the embedded sealing stuff. And then that way when I get back under the truck, we can line it all up and everything lines up. And just to make it easy on ourselves, like I said earlier in the video, um, we've got this box with... All the bolts in the proper orientation because we're going to use the original bolts because from everything we've been told and everything we've read says the ones in the package I don't even remember where they went oh they're over there the original ones aren't that good If you got a friend to help you out, that'd be great. I don't know who came up with this idea, but hats off to Valvoline for supplying the easy fill nozzle. And the squeezable bag makes it's gonna make it real easy to fill this back up. Attempt to fill the So as you can see the new fluid dripping out here is clear and clean whereas this old fluid was uh, very burnt nasty and black so this definitely needed to be done so um, this is recommended to be done probably every other oil change if you're not pulling things or driving this truck hard um, which she's my pavement queen so uh, we'll be doing this probably every other oil change but now I can because with the new special cover again we can uh, drain it out through this um, drain at the bottom here uh, the fill hole 
Again, it's up at the top. Very whole bottom. All right, so we're all done. We got everything cleaned up. It's time for that cold start. Hit the I'm button. I'm gonna have a guy. Lock. Start. Feels good. Sounds smooth. So this concludes another episode of Mikey's Wheelhouse. As we're pulling back into the driveway, it's Mike's wheelhouse, but you know, it's my buddy Mikey, so that's just what I call him. So as we pull back up into uh, the driveway, that's the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, we'll leave links to uh, everything that we use in the description down below. So please follow, hit that like button, subscribe.